let's talk about it. Let's have the talk. Um, Alright guys, hope you like the new intro. I just made it. I filmed it today. Oh, let me fix this. Boom. There we go. Made it today. Filmed everything. So, you know, pretty much the best YouTuber alive. Not pointing any fingers. Um, so it's been like six months since I made the last video, or my last video. Um, lots been going on in my life. I moved back down. As you can tell, I'm not in the same room. From northern Arizona to the hometown of southern Arizona. So, yeah, I've been busy with that. Got a new job, working, doing the thing, you know what I'm saying? Saving up some money. And um, I actually might be moving back up, so that'll be fun. But, um, I don't know, I was looking at my old videos and I kind of put up like three of them. Didn't really think about it, kind of forgot about it and whatever went back and I was like dude my uh, mud jug video mud jug versus spit but videos up to like 700 likes right now not likes 700 views I'm, I wish I had 700 likes I'd like this video right now so I was like dude you know what I'm gonna make some more I'll make some more videos so I started this thing I know I'm a douchebag thank you I'm wearing a freaking tank top like a loser I don't like it. Um, it tastes bad. It tastes funny. I don't know how to use this. My uh, best friend, my bro, my bud. Whenever I moved back, he he was really into that, and he's like, "Dude, you gotta get one. You gotta try it. It's awesome. It's better than chewing." But no, nothing is better than chewing. Nothing in the world is better than chewing, and nothing will ever be better than chewing. So today, we're gonna do a little Copenhagen whiskey blend. So I'm going to throw it back up to the mountains. Because down here, there is one store that sells whiskey blend. Up there, like 95% of the stores sell whiskey blend. I actually found this while I was looking for Skull Spearmint for a buddy of mine. He was like, dude, you know what? I haven't been able to find Skull Spearmint anywhere. And I was like, dude, I've, I've had a, bought it down here multiple times. I'm going to go on a little search. So I looked around everywhere, and only one store had the freaking whiskey blend, the Cope whiskey blend, I almost said skull, the Copenhagen whiskey blend. So I'm going to throw in a dip. I've actually been saving this can for this video, because I've been dipping nothing but Copenhagen straight, or not Copenhagen straight, Cope straight. Cope straight. And I wanted some of this whiskey blend because I love whiskey blend more than black. I know, I think in my other video I was like, yeah, black's my favorite. Nah. It's whiskey blend all the way. So we're throwing two. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me, a dip. I'm gonna throw in a dip here. Spilled half of it on my lap like a true dipper. You got the, uh, the mud jug. I'm editing um, my new intro right now. I'm waiting for it to process. So I thought I'd shoot a video while I did it. So I'm going to start doing some things with this channel. I want to take it more than just two videos. I want to do other videos too. Like stuff about my truck. I bought a new truck. Um, used to drive a Ford. And then I decided that I wanted to um, get laid sometime in my life. So I bought a Chevy. And uh, I've been doing some work on that and whatnot. The whatnots, the whatevers. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna do some videos on my Chevy. I got a 93 Chevy Silverado, and I actually have a 64, 65 GMC um, C10. I think that's what it is. Cause I got the K1500 and the C10. So I think I'm gonna do some videos on those. Just general stuff around my hometown and documenting my life and everything. 
that's going on with me. Also, want to start telling some true, some dip stories while I do reviews. So, I thought, you know what? This is the first episode or first video that I'm gonna do where I'm gonna do a review and tell a story at the same time. So, why not tell my first dipping experience story? Because it's freaking awesome and funny and really sad. I gotta start off with a spit. Alrighty, kids. So, first time I ever dipped tobacco was when I was 14 years old and I was a freshman in high school. And I was in the ag class of FFA, or the FFA class, ag class of FFA, the class of ag. I was in there and all my buddies were chewing. Every single one of them was chewing or dipping. They were dipping more than they were chewing, and I just, I cannot beat this dip chew confusion. So everybody was dipping, and I never tried it, and I never thought I would try it, and actually, I think I smoked a cigarette before I started chewing, dipping, before I started dipping, I smoked a cigarette, and, uh, I was not proud of myself, I was very ashamed, um, so I was like, you know what, cigarette didn't really do anything because I didn't, I didn't smoke it right. You know, I was like, you know, like a little fourteen-year-old kid does. I was, you know, and I wasn't inhaling it and whatever. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try the dipping tobacco, the wonderful dipping tobacco. And I think that I actually tried it at the same time that another buddy of mine tried it. We both went in together. We're like, hey, you know what, we're gonna do it. We're gonna throw big dips in and we're just gonna be men we're gonna stop being little girls so everybody threw chew a dip in we were watching some video we had a sub and i was like you perfect timing this is wonderful my cousin liked to mess with me all the time especially in high school he loved messing with me he gives the other kid a chew and he or a, a dip and he goes it was copenhagen wintergreen he hands him a can of copenhagen wintergreen he goes here you go dip this throw a little dip in he's like all right and so he walks him through how to do it and then he reaches in his pocket and goes you're my cousin and if you're gonna be walking around with dip in your mouth you're gonna know how to freaking dip like a man he pulls out a can of grizzly snuff so he hands me he hands me the can and he goes all right here you go throwing a dip and i'm like perfect grab it pitch it do a little you know noob chew thing dip thing and i'm throwing a little tiny dip ch -ch 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 dip and i'm like dude you know the heck i'm not getting any spit and he goes well when you get a mouthful of spit spit it in the bottle unless you want to be a man if you want to be a man real men gut which is what we call swallowing your spit real men don't spit is what he told me uh, you know, you're in high school, you're 14 years old, you got something to prove in the world. You're like, dude, I don't even need a spitter, I don't need a spittoon, I don't need nothing. I'm just gonna, my stomach is my spittoon. So I sit there and I, like, you know, just doing the thing, swallowing, 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 swallowing. And all of a sudden that freaking buzz kicked in. And oh lord, that was bad. So I put my head down, fold my arms up, put my head down, and I'm like, Man, is this ever going to quit? This is really kicking my butt. And I I never got sick. It was like the biggest surprise to me. I ended up swallowing the whole dip. It all went in my stomach. And I was like, why do people do this if you lose your dip all the time? Like, do you have to constantly refill your lip? So I asked my cousin, I go, hey man, you mind if I get more? And he was trying to make me throw up. So he was sitting there laughing, giggling until I asked for more. And then he w he looked at me funny. He's like, you want more? I was like, yeah, well, I swallowed all of the rest of mine. Can I have more? He's like, yeah, go ahead. So I threw in more. And then that time I kept it. I kept it in. After that, I could gut like you wouldn't believe. I would throw in a dip and I would spit one time. As soon as I threw it in, I would spit just to get that stuff out of my tongue off my tongue and out of my mouth and I'd freaking swallow it 
I miss being able to do that, let me tell you, because I walk into Walmart now and I got a dip in my mouth and I freaking breathe wrong and it goes down my throat and I'm puking like a freaking puker. So yeah, that was my first dipping experience. Alright, so I'm shooting the uh, review portion of the video on my iPhone and uh, normally I shoot on my iPad but I got a new phone I got the uh, iPhone 5c I got it green cuz you know I, I'm horny so I, I want to see what this looks like I want to see if this is better quality than my iPad is because I want to bring you guys the best quality I'm also gonna try out some other things with bringing better audio to the freaking thing I know I talk quiet and I like whisper whenever I talk about dip and the all the rest of my stuff this is the review portion of the video review um cope whiskey blend what's the difference between cope whiskey blend and copenhagen black well to me just opening the can just smelling the whiskey blend has more of a light whiskey in my mind than the black does black to me i know it's supposed to be like jack daniels black but it it tastes more like rum to me it tastes more like um shoot captain morgan and this tastes more like just straight up jack daniels bourbon and that's why i like this a little bit better um i don't really like rum i like whiskey it's not overpowering to like when when i first saw a dip of of black it's just like like black like here's your freaking dip dude like here's the flavor right freaking here and there's whiskey it's like you know hey man i know you like whiskey so we're gonna keep it nice and mellow so you know if you got it somewhere around you pick it up pick up a can of it try it out see if you like it you might hate it it might be the worst dip you ever dipped in your entire life but coming from good old chris here at the uh western dipper seven channel it's thumbs up it's got the approval pretty proud of it back to the uh ipad i guess i'm gonna end this video i don't want it to be too long so um yeah check out my other videos subscribe like comment um tell me about your first dipping experience in the comments below if you liked it if you hated it if it took you three or four times to try it and uh you know just have a good day be happy that'll be it